Welcome ladies and gentlemen, my name is Heredius and today we're gonna do a little fine tuning guide for Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare. <laughs> Let's be honest, we all love playing this game, but it's riddled with bugs. It's, in my opinion, one of the worst optimized games of 2019. I love playing the game, but since the beginning there were a lot of bugs, hiccups, stutters, and so on and so on. One of the main problems that I face is that the fact that there is a 100% CPU load in, well, almost constantly, like if you're in the main in the main menu, if you're in game, you always kept the 100% CPU load. And it was very frustrating. Even for very high spec PCs, that problem stayed. I will go through the settings in game, but also some settings outside of the game that had a really big impact. I tested a lot of settings for days just to get rid of the 100% CPU load. First of all, you go to the advanced options.ini, you go to uh, C users, then your name, documents, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, and players, and there you will find the advanced options.ini. Just uh, look at my picture and uh, follow the same configuration so especially the video memory scale is set at 0 0.775 and the render worker count is 4 so how we are going to test is i will show you guys my cpu loads um, in the main screen at the character screen in the lobby and in game and you can see in the different stages very clearly where the problem is so yeah so first things first there are some things you definitely should do one of the things is for example update your nvidia driver or your amd driver because normally i don't really do it at all but especially with call of duty modern warfare it, it gives a, a very big boost if you update the uh, driver that's what I definitely noticed. And also disable shadow play if you have a shadow play uh, installed. So first of all, you go to your NVIDIA settings. And there you go to uh, the general settings, uh, but then to the tab to the right, you go to the program settings. Then you select the Call of Duty uh, Modern Warfare Execute. You just select it and it's very important because I know some guys uh, did little tweaks following other YouTube videos and how to configure it just to get more FPS. Just put it on the starting values. I did that and I had really good results with that. Just put it on the starting values. Then go uh, down below with the CDA GPU just select your graphics card. And if you go down below even more, you see the shader cache, you just put it on. And the texture filtering, yeah, it's sorry guys, it's in Dutch, but you get the hang of it. Texture filtering, you put it also on on. And that's basically it. Let me check, did I do anything else? No. The rest is all standard, so you can leave it at that. In this part, we're gonna go to the settings of uh, Call of Duty Modern Warfare. One of the most important uh, things I noticed was here the display mode I have the best results in full mode. That's one. Secondly, screen refresh rate you just put it on, on 60. At least if you have a 60 hertz uh, monitor. D be sure to do the render resolution at 100 and you can check it if the 100 the resolution is the same as your screen resolution. So sometimes it doesn't display the correct resolution. So be sure to check that. Uh, after that, uh, the yes, the V-Sync disable it. The custom uh, frame limit was very curious. 
I just tried different options, but the best options for me were just capping all three on 60 FPS. After that, NVL highlights disable them. Uh, let's see. The texture resolution on normal, texture filter anisotropic on normal, particle quality low. Uh, you can put this on tessellation uh, near. Shadow map resolution normal. In the settings that I told you before, you should enable the cache. And here also enable the cache spot shadows and the cache sun shadows. Why is that? Because it stores the cache to speed up the rendering of the future frames. Yes, you need more RAM, but it should improve your FPS. Or at least do not give you the 100% um, CPU load. That is, that is the main thing where we're going for. Not so much for the FPS, that's just a bonus. But especially to, to lower your CPU load. Um, the particle particle light normal, um, and that that's it I think. Anti analyzing off, depth of field disabled, the filmic strength on zero, the world motion blur disabled, weapon motion blur disabled, and the film grain disabled. So these are the settings I use in game and gave me the best results. Then we go back to the main screen. So you can watch with me the CPU load. There we go. So here we go. I tested in different stages, like I said before, the main screen, the character screen, the screen where you see the character in a lobby and in game. Those are the four stages you really should monitor your CPU load of your, of your computer. And if in any case you have the same specs as me or higher and you still have the problem with 100% CPU load, you can, you can now see the lowest CPU percentage that you can get um, from this test. So if you are higher in your CPU load, it means you should definitely, there is definitely the possibility to still tweak some settings to get the same results as I do. So in the main screen, like you can see, if we just wait uh, a little bit, normally it goes down to around 20%. The recording of the stream is also 13%. So that's why it's now at 42%. But even though it's 42%, it's no 100%, which is good. After that, you click in the multiplayer. And there you always have a spike. CPU load. After the spike, it will drop down again. As you can see here. So now we're going to go in game. And you guys can see my CPU load. at the multiplayer when you select it and when you are in the lobby when you see your character there is always a hundred percent CPU load okay so we finally are in a game I will show you guys now, uh, normally you always get a 100% CPU load problem because uh, again uh, for the badly optimized game at the moment. I must say with every patch it gets better and better. In the beginning when I just uh, got the game it was a slideshow with a lot of graphics misformed and stuff like that, it was, it was horrible. But with every patch they're bringing out it's getting better and better. So I do have hope for the future. Uh, as you guys can see, it's a very, very extremely smooth. It's very smooth even. Uh, but very important is, if you look at the CPU load, it's not 100% anymore. So normally you get around 60, 66%. 
So 66% from 100% to 66% CPU load is what you will be able to get if you follow the settings that I had in game. So I do hope it helps all the people that have this 100% CPU load problem. Um, if it helped you, please let me know in the comments. If you like this video, please comment and follow me on a Twitch, a Twitter and YouTube. And till next time, take care.